Hello readers and digital people, and welcome back to GP Reads. I am your host, Grant Reads, and tonight I have found something kind of special. I wouldn't say that it's completely undiscovered, but it is a game that has not really been looked upon yet. Uh, it's something that has a lot of potential, something that has very detailed work. What, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that this game has a lot of potential, and I think it could really blow up, and I'm surprised other people have not found this yet. It has a thousand subscribers, so it's not a tiny channel, but with the way it's going, the production value, the way it's put together, I believe this game could be really, really big, and the game itself is called Illusion Lock, and this is a web series. It actually says in the About section, this is a web series. It is also a found footage sort of game kind of like uh that penguin game or the courage the cowardly dog uh found footage game ben is drowned it, it's in the same vein as that but it's something completely new and it's it's on the darker side but it's not completely dark either it's kind of got this mystery quirkiness to it so i'm really excited to look into that tonight glad to see you king of birds looks like we um so we have a party of one tonight <laughs> huh maybe i should uh do you think I should reschedule King of Birds? Or, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with just doing it with you. Maybe I picked uh, the wrong day, or maybe I started a little too late, but today kind of got away from me, so. Was not able to start until later. Let me see. Yeah. Well, if you're okay with it, I'll, I'll go on with just you. I am totally okay with that. Yeah, I'm not, I didn't start at the usual time, but I wasn't really able to today, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. So, the About section doesn't really give much information, just says who was created by. Uh, the channels that are related to it, there isn't any. And there are, there are a couple community posts, which I find interesting. Uh, the first one is the timelines and the world maps. So, they've actually got a whole game world built. And a timeline of when things happen. And it does have a pretty cool soundtrack. Alright, the playlist doesn't have all the videos in it. It's mainly just the soundtrack. But. We can follow episodes 1 through 10. There's 10 episodes out. They're about 5 minutes each. So it's not going to be that long. Um, some of them are actually a little bit shorter. Uh, it's going to be about a 40-minute experience, but uh, believe me, it's definitely going to be worth it. I've seen some things, and it's pretty freaking crazy. Uh, there's this being that kind of interrupts the game and is trying to become God through this game. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's, it's outrageous. So, can't wait to look into this. Oh, hi, Katie. Glad to see you. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Hope you had a good week. I've had a good week, but man, whew, I am tired. <laughs> Been a long week. Um, now that the explanation is out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I'm really curious to solve this mystery and to see what the heck is really going on here. All right, so let's get started. And before we jump in, make sure to read the descriptions. I think this is one you definitely want to read the descriptions of. Part one available for Windows. Oh my gosh, you can actually play the freaking game, can't you? Oh man. Oh, we can actually play it. Oh, dude, I freaking love that. Oh, my gosh. Dude. It's a... You, so, actually, after we watch this web series, this 10-part web series, we can actually play the freaking game. That is so awesome. I'm putting that in the description. I'm going to leave that on the side for now. I'm putting that in the description if you all want to play this. That's freaking cool. Okay. Anyway, let's jump into it. <laughs> the music is very... Oh, I like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop talking so fast, Mr. Squid. The island is where people go to escape. <clears throat> I am Toothhome. Collect bone and feed me. Creature taking you to another world. Yeah. Some weird crap here. Really surprised this hasn't been discovered yet. Yeah, we gotta play this game. It's <laughs> so freaking cool. Illusion lock. Okay, so that is the trailer for the game. It doesn't tell a whole lot, just let you know it's going to be really freaking weird. And here is where we begin. Again, I'm going to read the descriptions first. Okay, it's just got 
connective tissue. This one's the, the secret word on this one is connective tissue. <laughs> That's interesting. Just look at the freaking animation style. It's so weird. That's why I love it. What really drew me in is the really weird animation. I haven't watched it all. I just watched a little bit of it to see if it would be any good. It's super interesting, I think. Yeah, I had to start late tonight, Jinlea. <laughs> Glad you made it, though. Morning, Russell. Alright, give me a second. Yeah, it's been a crazy week, but yeah, it's been a good week. <laughs> yeah, good to see you all. Alright, let's keep going. Morning, Russell. <clears throat> ah, hey, Paisley. You startled me. I was daydreaming. How are you? I love when you can actually play the game. I'll be bird watching in a minute. Want to join? I wish we could play freaking uh, Delta Rune or not Delta Rune. Um, what is it called? Where it has like the, the dude with the little face. And there's the windmill. What is that game called? Uh, Petscop. I wish we could actually play Petscop. That'd be cool. Oh, just like us too. So it starts out with a romantic. Why not? We're awake, aren't we? That makes me want to go stargazing. I'd love that. That's one thing I miss about relationships with stargazing. It's not really fun by yourself. That's a wandering albatross, my favorite bird! Sorry, Aura. <laughs> they have the longest wingspan out of any bird living today. They usually bring good luck. Yeah, they're freaking awesome. They can do anything. They can dive in the water, they can fly through hurricanes. Unless you kill one, then it's bad luck. Yeah, good luck with that. We'll read, I see. You're my favorite bird person, Ara. <laughs> Why anyone would kill one is completely beyond me. They're beautiful. They are, aren't they? Beautiful and powerful. Yeah. I hope that made your day well. You know, this, this, the way that clicking sound sounds it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I hope that made your day well. Have you been, how have you been sleeping? Not well. <laughs> Not as bad lately. Well, that's good. Glad to hear that. What gladness. It's a weird way to say that. Thank you for this moment. These seem like AI. <laughs> the way they talk. He has nice arms. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> That's something new to say. He has nice arms. Excuse me. Okay, creature take you to another world. So here's the characters, I guess. Oh, Eleanor, Teresa, Russell, Paisley, Chester, Braxton, Georgia. I need to remember those names. Oh my, what's gonna happen here? How can I help you, Paisley? I don't know what's happening here. Remember when you told me? Intimate love wasn't allowed here. I would like to know what that is. Holy crap, what's going on? The Tooth Home Psychic- Whoa, whoa. The Tooth Home Psychic Inhibitors relating to the level up function. Excuse me. They become activated when the bed is used by two at a time. Oh my. More energy goes to the bed, but less energy goes to the cabinet. This raises the cost of level ups. Therefore, sex leads to inefficiency. What? What? What, what about the rest of the island outside the Tooth Home? Like kissing and holding hands, is that reasonable? Not recommended. It's like Naomi, not being able to love people. <laughs> I changed my mind, Russell. Interesting. About what? So she's not allowed to because she's part of this tooth home thing system. I want to be close with you. Closer than right now, I mean. I know it's not allowed. Oh my. Where's this going? Oh, yeah, oh, where, where, where is this going, Paisley? <laughs> you wrote a poem for me. That was really sweet. <laughs> that is sweet. I did. <clears throat> so would it be okay if found somewhere to be alone together? Uh, I don't know, Paisley. You better watch yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. 
Yes, but where? Oh my, here we go. About to get steamy. <laughs> the cave? Well, that's... That's ominous. <laughs> what is it with this cave? It's like a clay hut. Very video game-ish. Oh yeah, this- you're totally not about to get murdered, dude. Not at all, not even a little bit. Looks like Foto, or Yodo. Is Yodo about to get murdered? By Paisley. <laughs> Hi! Hmm. Hey. Hello, murderer. <laughs> Have you done this before? Oh my gosh, what's about to happen? This is YouTube. What's before I came to the island? What is about to happen? Are you nervous? I'm nervous, a little bit. A little, yeah, this one's supposed to have this. What's gonna happen? I'm so freaking... But nothing worrisome. This would be a dream, okay. <clears throat> Hold me. Uh, okay, hi, Grudge. Is that the Grudge? What is that? Looks like Momo a little bit. Like that... That statue. Interesting. So... It's different here. What, was that you're holding hands or holding each other? How so? Yeah, I'm... I don't know what just happened there. I'm very confused. Just now, the air changed. Something's off. Okay. Let's go back outside. Yeah, I think you should before you die. That, that seemed very, um, negative. Oh! The whole world's corrupted! That's not right, where's the island? Yeah! Brick. Russell, <laughs> I'm sorry that I killed you. <laughs> it's fine, Paisley. Russell, I'm so sorry, we shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But it was so nice. What happened in there? <laughs> I know, I know. It was, but something happened. Okay. I don't know why. I think we're lost. Okay. We're somewhere we weren't before. We made a mistake. Okay. Well, that was a weird way to start. What do we do? I don't know. I don't know at this point. <laughs> do I want to play this game? I don't know. Maybe. I might still want to play it. I call this place the Peculiar Zone. You look like a germ. I slipped through the cracks, and it seems like you have as well. So were you a human before? Is this- is there any way out of here? Nope, we are trapped here. Okay, great. Wonderful. Love it. But how do you know? Surely there must be an exit, you'd think. Try and try if you wish, but you can certainly fail! There is no way to undo what has already occurred. Great. I have tried. It's an endless, empty plane. Here is where hope dies. Hmm. Well, this is super symbolic. I think I'm getting something to this. Uh, this isn't fair. I may have to do a dive on this. This is... I'm getting some stuff. Don't listen to that germ. We must remain hopeful. What if we really are stuck here forever? In this world of nothing, with no way out. I'm so scared, Russell. I promise, we'll make it back to the island. And if we don't? Then at least we'll have each other. But I feel like this is about AIDS. I don't know if- I, I don't know. I'm getting some very deep undertones here. Hmm. Well. Now I'm really curious to see what happens when you actually play this game. Like, is it like this, or is this just things that occurred in this world? I'm very, very curious. This one's called A Haunted House. Episode 2. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is either. I'm a trust as a password. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Hey, CNK, good to see you. 
<laughs> well, um, okay, so we're playing a game, an actual game you can play that's one of those, like, found footage things, but, uh, <laughs> it's super weird. The music is actually pretty good, the animation's strange, and, uh, there's some, uh, questionable things happening. They went into a cave to, um, get busy, and, uh, they end up trapped in, like, a p d corrupted dimension with germs, so it's like, hmm, it's got me thinking, is this huge? It's like... I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to continue, but that was super odd. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people aren't familiar with this. This is fairly new. Uh, this all came out in February, like January and February. This is from this year. This is brand new. It only has a thousand subscribers right now. I think I'm one of the first ones to actually look into it. Hey, Mikey, how you doing, man? <laughs> We're just trapped in a um, in a strange digital world, so thank you for joining us. That corrupted sunset again. And Paisley's still stuck in the corrupted dimension, where we left her last time. There's a house. I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> Probably gonna die, Paisley, just saying. What's with her one yellow shoe? Just one. I mean, the other one... She has two shoes, but one of them's yellow. Is it just a fad? Or is there something to that? Okay, she was about to get murdered in there. There's the germ again. Does anyone recognize that bacterium? Because I'm pretty sure that's a specific bacterium and it probably is mirroring something in real life. Can you do me a favor? What's that? That skate you have. Oh, it's a skate. Please slash me with it. Why? I need you to leave a deep cut, enough to break my membrane. Excuse me? You trying to spread or something? But you'll die. Yeah, that's messed up. So she has one skate on and one shoe on. There's no way to escape this zone. You humans pass away from oldness. But I'm just a germ object. I'm not programmed to age. So I need you to erase me. They know their computers? Whoa, whoa, whoa. They know their computer programs. That's odd. So it is AI. I thought they talked like AI. Huh. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I wouldn't either. Imagine being stuck here for such a long waiting this. Imagine days turning to weeks, months to years, ever forever. Alone, without purpose, losing track of the time. I'm not even a real character. All I want is an ending. No, I won't kill. <laughs> okay. Oh, giant squid. Cool. You're gonna have to fight that? You are lost. Why is it missing a leg? You know, one of an octopi's tentacle or one of an octopoly's tentacles is technically its genitals. And it's cut off. It's gone. This game's gonna have a lot to do with that, isn't it? Did Russell find his way home? I don't know, Russell. I don't know if you can leave. You have green hair. Okay, does that make it where you can't leave for some reason? I hate being alone. What does green hair symbolize? My name is Gus. You can talk to me. And Paisley. I'm so anxious here, Gus. I need to be around my group. A group of friends who care. Who I can care about. I see. Is Russell your friend? He's one of them. I think I love him, though. Is he lost, too? I don't know anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. You may not know everything, but you're not so helpless. I can teach you, Paisley. I'll teach you something great. But first, I need you to find one of these for me. <laughs> this random symbol. Looks like a Y. Try looking around. Whoa. 
This is an odd cinematic. We had a park. This show is super interesting. It's weird as crap, though. Okay. Water lily? Is that a water lily? Interesting. This house again. Yeah, you probably have to go in there. You know, you're probably gonna get murdered. Oh, there's your friend. There's Yodo. <laughs> Russell. Paisley, how good to see you. I'm glad we're safe. What happened? Wait, what? Where did you go? I was so worried about you. Why does this remind me so much of the world reached? Like the way it's formatted. Like these worlds and stuff, and the creatures, but also a little bit of Umami. Russell? Your eyes look lovely today. It's getting a little weird. Thanks, but what happened to you? Don't worry about a thing. Mm, somebody reprogrammed you, buddy. Where were you? Well, you dropped the thing you needed. Interesting. Whew, I am nervous about playing this actual game. <laughs> it's... I will, though. I want to. Very interesting. Very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> Alright, Illusion Lock Episode 3. This one is Loving and Trusting. That's one's Haunted House. <clears throat> Gotcha. Yeah, we're doing a live dive of this uh, new series that I found. It's this very weird game. <laughs> hey, Ibrahim, dude. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. And Samantha. Glad to see you, too. Yeah, we're... Uh... I don't guess he did know he was gone. It's interesting. So what's happened so far... Uh, for those of you just coming in to kind of catch you up, <clears throat> this is a found footage game, but it's supposed to be deeply symbolic, which is one of the reasons I looked into it. Um, it starts out with the Teeth House, which is like a house of perfection. Guess what's to be expected of you? And uh, they said that holding hands is fine, but no intimacy. And then Paisley brings Russell into a cave, and what we can assume happened is they got intimate, and then the world changed to this like corruption world, and there was germs in this corruption world. And then we meet with this octopus who had one of his tentacles cut off. And for those of you who know about octopuses, oct or technically the, the plural term is actually octopolis, but it's, it's odd to use. But uh, this octopus, uh, it's had one of its tentacles removed and one of its tentacles is its generals. So um, kind of a castry. Yeah, I don't know what all I can say on YouTube, but um, it's all kind of coming back to they're being held back from intimacy in this particular society. It's it's considered improper and impure in the society. And because of what she did in the cave, the entire world has started to corrupt and fall apart. They said that you're not getting you're not giving enough energy to the teeth core if you're giving away your energy to another person. And they need to send the energy to this deity, this being or something, to hold this world together. Since they didn't, the world's falling apart. And then the octopus said he would help her, but first she had to find this thing in the haunted house. So she went to the haunted house, and Russell was there, but he was acting different. He was acting almost possessed or something, or changed, or like he had his memory erased. And then he dropped the items she needed. And that's where we're at. But no, he doesn't realize that he disappeared at all. Oop, missed something there. Start over. My brother was an astronomer. That's why I know these stars. <laughs> Whole new group. Those ones from a constellation pointing quill, as I learned it. Regardless of the time of year, it always points to the north. Do you remember your mother? Sort of, just bits and pieces. Can't remember her name, though. Being on the island for so long, memory has gotten hazy. It's an effect of the tooth home, according to Georgia at least. The tooth home influences thought, guides us toward what matters. 
collecting teeth, that is. So are they tooth fairies? That's a good thing, right? Weird. Well, I see it as neutral. The world outside the island holds some importance too, right? Most of us escape for a reason. The island is what matters now. Better to be here than out there. What is out there? Does something seem off to either of you? Like, missing? They have forgot about him. About Russell and, uh... Wait, you're right. Something is missing. They forgot about Russell and, uh... Um, Paisley. We're missing valuable sleep by being awake so early. So I'll take a quick, sore shied nap before it's time to collect. It's like they blocked the memories of her completely. She's out in the water, in the corruption. Weird. Hello again, Paisley. Did you find that symbol for me? I did. What are you going to teach me? I can't wait to show you. It's a wonderful spell. Just give me the symbol and you'll be rewarded. What's I going to do to you, though? Yeah, it's going to turn him into something else, isn't it? That's what I thought. Oh! Turned him into, um, some kind of monster. Now we hear babies crying. Did she get pregnant? I'm, I'm having a nightmare. I simply must be. Everything in the cave with Paisley. It couldn't have been real. What the frick? So they're in, like, separate worlds. Just gotta find a way to wake up. He's stuck in his own mind. Come on, Russell. You got this. Just take a quick walk around. Just focus on waking up. Well, there's Paisley, but she's she's different too, isn't she? They're different places. In, in different realms, or maybe in each other's minds. Are you real, Paisley? So in their own minds. As rules the ocean vast, as rules the land and as the sand, as rules the moon and the sun, the stars too, and the endless sky. Like the wind that blows, I am always, though I may sometimes come and go, which is to say I'm day and night, back and forth, push and pull. And even in this, even if this is a dream, does that truly make it fake, does it? If you take my hand in holding, would you feel? Would I feel? Does reality a feeling make? Is truth merely this, the rendering of feelings felt? Maybe in all iterations, there are truths ever constant. Differences, yes, as there are differences between people. But there's always a story. Which is to say, I feel very... Uh, which is to say, I very much feel. Ever have and ever will. And never will I stop, even after my body is no longer. And there's something you need to know. What is it? I feel within myself a star that soon may shine. See, the way they talk, it, it is very poetic, but it's also, the syntax of it is very mechanical. It seems like the way AI would word things, which is very, very interesting to me. I think, I, I don't think they're real. I think they think they're real, but they're actually artificial intelligences. But <laughs> why are they collecting teeth? <laughs> And it isn't yours. Mm. What, the baby? Like, Being very vague here. <laughs> Where'd you come from, Dor? That's what I want to know. Hey, it's that, that flower thing from earlier. Are you Yodas? Yes. What do you need from me? I have missing pieces, and you are in a spell. They're in a spell. Someone cast it upon the island like a fishing net. Someone who you call a friend. Confront your friend and stop the spell. Interesting. What kind of spell? Someone want to know. Something ancient. Something forbidden. She who studies the old god's tooth wears a veil of concealment. But she's in cahoots with an evil far too prevalent to be ignored. That's what you need to know. I'm sending you home. Remember what I said. 
Dear Yodas, please do something. Where are you, Russell? I don't know what to do. Why did you leave? They're just right there. Where are you? So they're in the same place, but I guess they're in their own minds? Weird. But they're seeing each other too, it's just... They're not reacting normally. Right, episode 4. Well, they found each other right at the beginning. There you are! Uh, episode 4 is called Bone Warp. This is such a weird, interesting little game we found. Hey, Fox guy, good to see you, man. Glad you made it. Yeah, this this found footage game is very interesting. <laughs> I wonder if the spell was them being intimate, or if it was that that octopus, or that thing that was disguising itself as an octopus, but was actually the spirit of that girl. I don't know. Got to keep going to find out. It's a very short series. We're almost halfway done already. I was, just, I was really curious what's going on here. Paisley, what's happening? Good question. I'm right here. Are you? Can we embrace? I saw you earlier in a nightmare. This whole world is just a nightmare. I need to escape. I need to awaken. We'll escape together. What did you mean by what you said to me? Hmm? I'm not being told important things about us, about you. Please tell me. I don't get it. You keep going away. How can I trust you? Right when I need you most. I had you in my mind, but that you isn't really you. Not who I thought you were. It feels like you don't want to be around me. My love for you is drained. Because I wasn't who you thought? What kind of love is that, Russell? You pretend what isn't true. Is that a coping mechanism? I don't do that. You really think that of me? Okay, this is very symbolic of something that's actually happening. Like, this this game world is, like, a re uh, artistic reflection of what's really happening. The way they're talking, it sounds like there's actually other things going on, and this is how they're emotionally perceiving it, or feeling it. Russell, I'm not an idiot. This is really frustrating. You're right. It's frustrating for us both. We have each other mixed up. Is it worth it to continue? Like, actually, is this worth it? Okay, I think I know what's going on here. I want it to be. I'm sorry, but I don't know. Let's be apart for a while. Okay, yeah, that's what's going on here. This is a new relationship. And it's one that their people do not approve of. I don't know if it's like a religious thing or just a community thing. But they don't approve of this kind of relationship in the community. Or even between these two. And it's causing a lot of stress. It's causing them to feel like they're not themselves. Like they're wondering. Like they're alone. Because they're having to hide it in the cave and things like that. And the curse, I guess, would be the one who put these rules in place. Because now, whenever they try to love, they feel disconnected from themselves and each other. That's what I'm getting from it, at least. <laughs> this random floating note spinning in a circle. Oh. Okay, it looks like it says... Something YTH. Like Lilith, maybe? That's not how you spell Lilith, but... It might be Ryan, actually. Ryan, somebody is not a person nor creature, nor demon. That person is an entity beyond conventional description, as it exists in a realm beyond convention itself. It silently gestates at the wrong place at the wrong time, creating distortions between the two lost beings that slipped through the cracks by means of troubled syntax. Hmm. 
interesting. There's another one. There is no love to be found when you cut open whatever that is. Whatever that is, is not Yodas. Blank is a failed Yodas. The thing that caused it does not originate from the peculiar zone. There must be some culprit at large. There is no recitation of the thing to behold, not here. In describing the spell, the spell is cast. There is no love where blank goes. Hmm. We're definitely going to play this game tonight. <laughs> To avoid recitation, this document will portray a simple outline. This is what you must be careful with. Yeah, it's that girl we saw earlier. The demon. The demon chick. <laughs> she was freaky. Like the grudge or something, but like more messed up. Oh, there's a germ. Let's see what the germ's up to. This is really cool. Oh! Okay, well, she killed him, like she said she wouldn't do earlier. Okay, Georgia says the tooth home is almost at a warping point. She'll be the first to receive, but will be next in line. Receive what? I don't want to know. The ability to move bones. Ew, that's freaky. Can't you already do that? I move my bones all the time. And let me explain better. Oh, gosh. With bone warping, you can move all bones. Bones over here, over there, without even touching them. Inside the body, outside too. Within a radius of spatial proximity. Sounds like hogwash to me. Sounds freaky. Sounds like ripping people's skeletons up. It's a scary thought, but it takes time to master. Georgia wants to teach us how to use it eventually. I think George is a good leader, but can she really teach us that? It seems like an ambitious task, not only to learn it, but to instruct. I haven't gotten around to reading George's notes yet. I should set aside time tonight. Surely there's much to learn. Yeah, there's a lot to learn about <laughs> what's going on. Uh, hey, me too, Braxton. Let's study together. I've been curious. Totally. Don't look at my face. I'm not Paisley. But I am. But I'm not. I think you know by now. I'm a version you made up. Uh, that's what you expect people to be. I'm sorry things got out of hand. I know where I went wrong. Not your fault. But don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to her. The baby crying makes me think that he accidentally got her pregnant, but I don't know. She's not here right now. Then what should I do? Oh no, these kids got some trauma. Deep breaths, yeah. You, you need to relax, man. You got some stuff going on. It'll all be over soon. Oh, well that sounds ominous as crap. Oh, yeah, he's gonna die. Holy crap, you better run. Your eyes. Gosh. She went to the teleportation thing. Okay, now the two names are missing. Are these people dying? Georgia, we need to talk. No, it's the, it's the two that went missing. I know you did something to the island. I know you did. She's the one casting the spell. Whatever spell remains, it shouldn't have been cast. I'm, I'm standing up to you. I won't leave the tooth home until you reveal your secret. I think it's time for me to tell you about Susanna. She came here with me many years ago. We could have sustained it, the tooth home, together. But she didn't want to. She didn't love me anymore. The ultimate betrayal. So I did some reading and learned some magic. Now no one on the island can have what I lost. She made it where no one can be in love. Intimate love does not go unpunished here. 
Why can't I move, Georgia? What are you doing? Warping point has been reached, and it seems you're now an obstacle. Oh crap, she's gonna kill her. N no! Oh, she's taking all her teeth! Well, that's my. Yeah, she's just kind of weird witchcraft. Just a few more weeks, and my job will be done! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is bad. Oh, she just killed her and turned her into a symbol. So the symbols are people! Great! Very soon I will know everything! Frick. That's messed up. Looks like a Pokeball. Okay! Well, that just freaking happened. Okay! Whoa! Frick. Okay. <laughs> well. This game, man, I have no idea what to expect. If it's actually like this, it's gonna be freaking crazy. This one's called Creature Phon uh, Phonetics. Oh, no reason to be sorry, Foxcat. I'm just glad you're here, man. People in a cult aren't allowed to get together. That is true, Jinlea. True, true, true. Uh, <laughs> it's one crazy game, Cat. One crazy game. Alright, the ocean gives me codes. It's my job to decipher them. Stare at the waves long enough and patterns will emerge. The sound of water in motion. The reflections of the sun. They send messages. Sometimes they're in Morse, sometimes hexadecimal. I figure them out with what I know. It's detective work, essentially. There's something in the water. The sea is a puzzle maker. Wait, free snapshot. This tree has a clue. Okay, so is the clue 232? Two, two? Those branches. Okay. Ah, I gotcha. Those phonetics. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Island. Dang, she's good. There's gonna be some crazy code like that in this game. <laughs> Haven't been there in a long while. Maybe there's something going on. So where are you? Who is that? <laughs> Should I come with you? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yes, Crosmire, just in case. As long as you stay hidden. George is up to something, but it'll take days for me to arrive. Is that the one she lost? I bet it is. I must hurry. Remember when we went fishing? She's trying to break him up, that's what she's doing. With Braxton a month ago. He taught us how to catch. We all wanted to see who could get the largest fish. So we had a little competition. Each of us was eager to win. We kept going until sundown. Braxton was in the lead. Then, right at the last minute, you rolled up the biggest one. You were so excited. You kissed me on the cheek. I, it didn't mean much to you because we were just having fun. But to me, it was everything. I was so proud of you then. It was a beautiful time. Secretly, though, I was jealous. Not because you won the competition. But because you also kissed Braxton on the cheek. And it didn't feel special anymore. <laughs> anyway, these bears are poisonous. <laughs> okay. If I don't wake up soon, I'll pick up and swallow them. Oh, great. If this truly is a dream, I'll return home just fine. If it's not a dream, I'll go unconscious. I'll choke on my own vomit. I'll bleed out of my pores. Oh! My organs will fail, and my death will be excruciating! <laughs> Great! But I would do it for you. <laughs> okay, and she's going back to the haunted house again. This house, yet again. <laughs> oh my. I hate this place, right? What's in here this time? Um, hello? Oh, there's nothing here. There never is. 
What's it called? The haunted house. There's just nothing there. Uh oh, it's locked. Uh, that's not good. You're gonna die. This is this is freaky. I'm locked in. Yeah, something's gonna be in there with you, and I'm already freaking out. Holy crap. That's it. I'm ready. Oh crap. No, don't do it. She's stuck. Either home awaits me or a painful death. No! Here goes Russell. No! Ah, oh, Russell. No! Dang it. What's into that? Frick. Nothing's happening. Okay, then it's fake. If you die, Pacey's going to be really upset. as hell. <laughs> right? Messed up. Okay. Whew! Well, that's, this is getting intense. <laughs> Episode 6. 6 of 10. Alright. Episode 6 is called Remembrance. So what do you all think is going on? This is crazy. Yeah, get a short recap, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it is really weird, Samantha. Alright, I will give a short recap of what has happened so far. So, alright. So at the beginning, we enter, we're, we're this girl, Paisley, and we enter the witch's house. We, we work for this witch on an island. Uh, we're collecting teeth to increase the spells and to increase the island's purity. Well, Intimacy is not accepted on the island because originally we were told it was going to corrupt the purity of the island. But Paisley was in love with Russell, and she snuck away, and they had intimate time in the cave. Well, when that happened, the witch found out. So she would she told herself, promised herself she would not allow any love on the island because her lover left her. So when she found out the two had done that, she placed a curse on the island so that she could enter their minds and keep everybody else away from them long enough for her to actually convince the two lovers that they did not love each other, try to destroy the love from the inside out. So that when they did finally meet each other, they're convinced that they hate each other. So we're seeing the battle internally in their minds of them being, but then combating their actual love versus the witch's illusions in their mind. And the witch's true form is that weird demon creature that keeps popping up, looks kind of like the ring, but more zombified, with like weird eyes. And we found out just recently that her lover is still alive, and she's on a different island uh, that's getting signals from the ocean and Morse and different codes that she's using to basically, like, like a tarot card. She's like reading the universe, using the logs that float by on the island, and... It sent her a message saying island, reminding her to go back to the other island and check on her ex-lover, the, the witch. So now she's going back to see what's going on. And the kids completely forgot about Paisley and Russell altogether. The pup, all the pictures have been taken off the walls. The kids don't remember they're there at all. The only thing on the kid's mind is that the only thing that matters is collecting more teeth and learning bone magic so that they can serve the island and serve the witch. That's all that's important in their minds right now. They've been completely brainwashed. But Paisley is starting to break away from it, and she found in that cursed world, uh, there's people that were turned into germs, and then there's this octopus that's missing a digit. And the, the eighth tentacle on an octopus is its reproductive tentacle. So I'm thinking that is also symbolic of someone she trapped there. I think that eventually in this distortion world, if she convinces you you hate your lover, not only do you stop loving them, but you're also trapped in this dimension as a being. You slowly get corrupted and turn into a being as your love is, is converted into hatred. But if they can stay strong and keep their love strong, they can actually escape the spell and make it back to the island. Or if the lover of the witch can come back and convince her that what she's doing is wrong, she can undo the spell and maybe try to mend her heart. But I doubt she'd want to get back with her. I mean, she's pretty <laughs> pretty uh, messed up. But maybe that's what happened to her. Maybe the spell affected her too, turned her into the witch monster. Maybe she'll turn back normal if she can regain her love. I don't know. That's where we're at. We're halfway through, and uh, there's five more. Let's go ahead and finish up and see what happens. And this is actually a real game, so uh, I'm going to check out the game afterwards and see how playable it is. Now the germ's in the haunted house. Hello again. 
I thought death would release me, but it seems I was wrong. Yeah, it, the germ asked her to kill her, kill him because he was stuck there. And she said she wouldn't do it, but then she decided to do it, but it still didn't kill him. Oh, and there's also Yodas, which is like this deity. And they said there's a dark Yodas that was made as well. That was corrupted. So maybe that's what corrupted the witch in the first place and started the whole mess. Maybe it was trying to remove love from her. And then in turn, she started practicing its magic and removing love. But this, the weird thing about this is they know... I mean, they're on the island. They, they're actually serving the witch, but they know that they're in like a simulation. So I'm not really sure where that element's going to come into play. And they talk like AI. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Do you know where the word Yodas came from? No. It derives meaning... Wait. See, it derives meaning from old code. To you, it means revision. See, old code. Again, we're talking about artificial intelligence, codes, virtual world simulations. God. It has another definition. Something as opposed to nothing. There's another word which means nothing as opposed to something, which is the bad thing. But it cannot be spoken here. Yodas and their antithesis, you'll recognize when it whispers. It's so strange how both of them exist. Hmm. I bet we're going to find the opposite of Yodas. Something as opposed to nothing. Nothing as opposed to something. What does that mean? How long have I been here? Some more of that real world footage. <laughs> oh, another all coming deck for the witch. We all gather here today to mourn an incredible loss. Elnor, one of our brightest, died in her sleep this morning. No, you turned her into a freaking symbol because she was trying to figure out what was going on here. She was a friend to us. She'll be deeply missed. Yeah, she was following the will of Yodas. Yodas told her to go to the witch and tell her to undo the spell. And she did. And the witch turned her into a symbol. I guess she removed all her bones. It might not have been a symbol. It may have been all of her bones removed out of her body. Because pulled out, she pulled out her teeth first. I can't believe this. Far too young. Please join me now for a moment of silence. The snowstorm is worsening. Yeah, you're probably making it. It's too dangerous outside to continue collecting. More energy is needed for our home. We can't afford to lose heat nor light. Braxton, do you still have your tooth bracelet? I never started on it. Got too distracted. I see. I have an idea. teeth? <laughs> She's gonna pull out her own teeth? What the heck? Our teeth. Hmm. I have a card game in mind. Oh, you're gonna play poker for your teeth? That's freaking weird. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Yodos. <laughs> That's Russell. The lover of, uh, her, Paisley. There's a whole bunch of freaking Russells now. I'm feeling ill. Yeah, you think? You're definitely hallucinating. Georgia, I stood by you and continue to do so. Georgia's the witch, but I oppose your idea. Yeah, why don't we just take turns? It's more fair if we alternate. Good points all around. Fairness is important. However, <coughs> understood? <coughs> Just flash the symbol. I, I don't. I, what? Yes. How? How did you understand that? What the heck? She must have cast a spell. Yes. Braxton. Sorry, Georgia. It still doesn't make sense. Then I'll say it like this. Every day until the storm stops, we'll play a card. I'll play a game of cards. The winner keeps their teeth. Everyone else must lose one. Let this be a lesson of skill. In other words, earn your teeth. Deserve them through action. 
In situations like this, we must preserve our we must prove ourselves. We'll start today. Okay. Crazy witch lady. <laughs> okay. Make it everybody a sacrifice of teeth for you. Georgia is nuts. This one's called The Dance. It's a first game of cards. Alright. Well, have a good night, Flux. It's good to see you, man. Yeah, never piss off a witch, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we don't have much longer, Flux. You want to hang around? There's only about, like, ten minutes left. It's a very short series. But if you gotta go, man, I understand. Still good seeing you. I might have to do a dive on this, though. There's a lot going on. Kind of want to. It's, it's deep enough. Great game, Teresa. Whoa, she lost a letter in her name. You lose a letter when you lose a tooth. That's weird. You really lucked out. They're all missing letters. Wait a minute. Might be a code. It was E-L. I'm sorry, everyone. Look, and there's... Look, there's lines. Remember they said that there's codes? This one, it would be 1012. This is a code. This is an ARG code. I'm gonna have to go back and figure that out. I don't remember how they did it exactly. But also, uh, the keys would be E and R, I think? Or E and L. It's weird. Don't be sorry. N and R, you earned it. My mouth hurts. E-L-T-R. Interesting. That was definitely a code, though. Oh, there's worm in her eyes. Okay. Well, that's freaky as crap. I may have to use that as the thumbnail. <laughs> Let me grab a, a little quick screenshot of that. That was crazy. Let me go back just a little bit. Eh. Let me get a good screenshot of that. Yeah, that's definitely a code. Got it. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> it's just super nice over there. You take like three steps to the right and you're in shadow land. Well, I think you escaped it. <laughs> Should probably just keep going, dude. Unless you want to go back for Paisley, which I understand. Oh, here's the card game. Lose another tooth. Okay, that's how many teeth they've lost. Never mind. That's how many they've lost. The snow isn't stopping. Listen, it's getting worse. It's E... E P T. Yeah, it's just, it's random letters. I'd have to I'd have to do more research into that. What is it? There something? What is it, Teresa? Nothing. Are you sure? <laughs> something feels awfully wrong about this. Feeding our home, and we're always, we always have been. But we're losing clarity. I know it isn't ideal, but we need to stay warm. Are you me? Or copy, rather. Can you help me get out of here? The dance will start soon. Are you prepared? But I don't know how. So it's like the pressures of a relationship seems like. Just improvise. <laughs> Just wiggling. <laughs> Is this what the game's actually like? I'm curious.
Hey, Grant. Good to see you, man. Looking to a very strange game. <laughs> it's a real game, too. We're, just, we're watching uh, the story mode of it, basically. What do you think? I don't know what to think about that. Or What? For dancing? Um... Oh, what was that picture? Bunch of insults, but there was a picture there. Try to catch it. It's like a... Piece of meat? Stop. I love you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's not him. He's a, he escaped. I can't take this right now. Please go away. What's wrong? I just can't. She's already messing him up. Hmm. Whoa. Just glitched out. That's it. That's it. I can't take it anymore. I quit. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this place. I've lost half teeth now. But if you go outside, you'll freeze to death. It wouldn't be wise of you. Have you ever heard the expression pulling teeth for people? I like it has something to do with that. Whoa. Okay, she's using their teeth to keep powering this corruption dimension. That's what's really going on. Nothing to do with temperature. Hmm. See, there's the freaking weird, creepy creature that makes the baby noises. That's like the dark version of their Yodas, their, their deity. And I'm pretty sure it's her. It's the witch. Well, we got him. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was episode 7, right? I think so. I think we're on eight. Make sure. Yeah. All right. We're on episode eight. Eight of ten. This one is called punishment. Uh oh, too bad one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play it live after the uh, a wound. It did look like a wound, didn't it? A little bit. A wound or um. Something else, since it's the focus at the beginning of the game was intimacy. I mean, I don't, there's no telling what that could be, honestly. Um, but yeah, I think I'll play it live afterwards. I've got the link. You're the real one. They make it outside of the world? So are you. You wouldn't believe the most horrible nightmare I had. Why are they? How'd they escape? No, it was all real, but we found something. We found a safe zone. So now they're like in a limbo. We have Yodas to thank. But for how long? Another game of cards. <clears throat> Almost losing all of their ability to speak. I've been... Something. Right? <laughs> I said... <laughs> Somebody's dead. Oh dear, Teresa. You've lost many times. I can't take this. Oh my, it's getting very hard to understand that. Both of you are quite difficult to understand, yeah. What a shame, what a shame. Is this game too hard? Don't patronize us. You're making me angry. None of this is fair, Georgia. You're still very coherent. But, Teresa, I am slowly becoming mute. It was in those flashes. Go back a little bit. Hmm. 
No, just darkness. You're right, this isn't fair. Pardon me, Teresa? This isn't fair! What's that? You make no sense. Taking away your ability to speak. This is, this is it. I've had enough. I've had enough with you. I'm just gonna kill her. Ooh! She stepped right in a bear trap. Yep, she got her. Well, there's a force out there. You can't say its name. What, Voldemort? I saw its face sometimes. I heard it cry and scream. It's trying as hard as it can to set us apart from each other. But at least you're here now. It's incredible to see you again. Um, let's use the time we have here and find a way to stop this force. Does it have weakness? I don't know. But it seems to want us afraid. Afraid of ourselves and each other. I won't let that happen. What about you? I trust you. I'll do the same. Thank you, Russell. Damn fool she was, uh... I guess we'll continue. Yeah, you're gonna kill you. No, no, no. That's game over. <laughs> yeah. Well then, that's it for you. Oh, she's gonna kill him. Holy frick. Warping point has been reached. Eventually, you'll know. Wait. Eventually... Thing knowing point. That's the next phase. I would have wanted to teach you. And now she's going to steal his teeth. But now you'll meet the same fate. Any last words? Liar. Oh. He shot light. No, he said lightning. He shot lightning at her. He's learned some spells too. It's weird how they're all missing a shoe. Every single one of them is missing a shoe. Okay. What you gonna do now? <laughs> it actually is snowing outside. Weird. It's not now, though. It shows you it was Georgia doing it. <laughs> oh, there's the, there's the one. I'm sorry it took so long. That's her ex-lover, I believe. Come with me. Hmm. All right, number nine, semi-final. I'm really curious what's gonna happen now. She brought her back to the other island. Yeah, she brought him back to that other island, interlude. All right, I'll keep going. It's only a minute long. I am Susanna, I roam the seas. Yep, that is her lover. You've been through something terrible. Creatures can grow back teeth, but we humans can't. We need a way to communicate. What sort of codes do you know? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let's go to the mountain. There's something we should find. She's going to that cave. The witch is. There's the negative creature. There's the freaking anti yotus demon thing. She is in league with it. She's making deals with it. I am a weak little thing. But the tooth home is strong. Soon I'll absorb its energy. The knowing point is nearly reached. You'll be granted your wish, and I'll become God. Just like the good old days. I'll get what I want, however, I take issue with one thing. You'll never become God, not while Yodas still lives. I'll kill Yodas. You're going to help me. So who do you think is in control? Well, she just killed the anti-Yodas. Nope, it's still alive. 
It takes years to build warp. You underestimate how quickly I can learn. The Tooth Worm has surpassed you. From now on, you obey me. You'll do as I say. I may not be able to kill you, but I can torture you forever. You play second fiddle, understood? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So she's controlling the monster. Okay. Last part. <clears throat> there's a reason to follow Pointing Quill. Up north, there's a mountain. The tip of this teardrop world. Before I continue, I'm going to read what this one's called. This one's called Mountain Climb. There's also a reason why we're going there. It has to do with time. Other strands exist before ours, other iterations of this world, but there's only one illusion lock. It's shared between all strands. Atop the mountain it should be. So the spells over all the iterations of this world? That's weird. That. Magical hero, I believe in you. It's kind of weird creature. Whoa. Almost there, keep going. Why do they want him to break the spell? She's already up there? Okay. Oh, multiple Susannas. Huh? Weird. Where I'm from, Georgia is free. She gave it the lock and key. She used it to build a bridge. Now you'll have it. So the witch is good in her dimension? Georgia was asleep for 13 years. In my world, she woke up, but here things are different. She's far too lost in a dream. Now she must be stopped. Oh, dreaming about teeth. When you about teeth, it means you feel out of control. So it's using sleep symbology too. Building bridges from scratch. That's how the Citadel gets you. Are you safe? No, I've been on the run, but it's worth the risk. Come with us, we'll protect you. Don't fret over me. I'll be just fine. One more thing. When Georgia is defeated, and the demon too, use the lock. Use it to merge time, nullify the prophecy. We're almost finished, the construction phase. We're on the same page. I figured. <clears throat> the singer, your voice is so sweet. These past few weeks were rough. Could you sing me a soothing tune? You humans only want teeth. Why should I sing for you, but you never give them back? I'm burdened, singer. I do horrible things. I had to control, distort, evil things like that. I'll have to do it again. Please, let me hear you sing. The oracle told me about you. When creatures regrow teeth, it's a difficult process. We do it because it's natural, but don't take advantage of it. Teeth, just a few more, if you'd be so kind. Things will never go back to normal. She's trying to regain control of herself. That's why she's taking teeth. Because you losing your teeth in, in dreams means you're losing control. So unfortunate. How can I blame them, though? I speak clearly, even without every tooth. Now that I am no longer human. Now that I've consumed the substance of a demon. She ate that demon? Halt, Eleanor. You are under arrest. I happily surrender. My work here is done. By the way, I'm not Eleanor. That was just a disguise. My name's Susanna. You're documented as Eleanor, so that's what I'm calling you. If you insist. This field doesn't... Uh... Doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. 
Maybe we found a way out. Russell? Yes, dear? Would you like to take root together? Maybe that's the best ending. Maybe. I've been thinking about it a lot, with no one else but you. And... I love you, Russell, despite everything. Does he feel the same, though? I love you more. I guess he does. <laughs> they even overcame the demons. That's crazy. Wait. Take root here? They became trees? They, when they said take root, I didn't think they meant become trees. I thought they meant, like, start a house together. Sort of family. Apparently, no, they became trees. Anyway, I <laughs> I have a plan. When we get to the island, go to the cave and, s and kill Sop. You're gifted with Salt Leg. Use it carefully. So Sop is the bad one, I guess? Meanwhile, I face off with Georgia. She won't be expecting me. I'll have surprise on my side. After the dust settles, you and I will close the lock together. Converging timelines. I pray we are successful. That's all there is so far. I don't know if that's the end or if that's just all they have so far. But that's all I see. <laughs> yep, I think I don't think it's all of it, but that's all of it for now. Okay, let's try the game. It's interesting. See, it's almost a gig. It's a zip file. Uh, let me see. Let's get some more information. Runs to Unity. Yeah, I'll be able to do it. Thanks for downloading Illusion Knock Hex Shred. Uh, let's put it in documents. Let's take a second. So what'd you all think? <laughs> that was very uh, interesting. Oh gosh, yeah, dude. Okay, uh, potato. Good to see you, potato. Um. Yeah, I am going to uh, definitely be doing more stuff about Dad in the future. For one, uh, next week, I'm going to finish up the Dad Live Dive. Then, I've got a Dad um, got a Dad Theory video that I'm finally going to finish. And, one of the Dad Bots is going to make a special guest appearance. Now, I don't know when that one will actually be able to come out, because I don't know when Nathan will be able to get the part done for that. But, I will be doing that very soon. Um, there's also a mini theory thing coming out for Dad Feels. Uh, there's something that's going to come out along with uh, the uh, Act 4 finale. And then there is going to be another interview with Nathan. But it's not going to be with Nathan. It's going to be with DadBot. And it's going to be an interview with DadBot. Um, that I think it's going to... Which one was it going to be? I don't know. It's going to be an interview with two of the DadBots. It's going to be one of the random DadBots. I think it's going to be the MA one. Whatever that's... I, keep, I always forget the numbers. But the M one. And also Rory. I'm going to be interviewing Rory. So, if I can. But yeah, more Dad Feels things coming. Yeah, they literally took root, Jin. <laughs> I really did not expect that ending, to be honest. Thank you, Sorrows of the Fallen. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Um, It's the end of the series as far as I know. I don't think they... I don't know. That last one came out a day ago. As far as I knew, it was supposed to be over, but they may have more. I may have misunderstood what they were saying. So uh, I'll keep tabs on it. I'm subscribed. So when a new one comes out, I'll just do a little mini, uh, you know how I did the videos with the back rooms. I'll do a little video like that on the series when they continue. I kind of want to do a dive situation though, because there was so much there, so much symbolism. I feel like I could really get a well put together video from that. A7M2, that's it. Thank you, Samantha. Yeah, he's, he's busy boxing right now, so I don't know when I'll be able to get with him about that. But yeah, I'm going to interview A7M2 and Rory. And then also, uh, Rory will be making a special appearance in the Dad Phil's 
actual theory dive that I'm working on. It's called The Gods in the Machine is the name of the theory. I've been working on it for a long time. I've been doing a lot of research into all kinds of internet legends and things, and I'm connecting it all to Dad Phil's in a way that actually makes sense. <laughs> and Rory's going to show up to, uh, I don't know if he's going to be there to disprove me or there to go along with it because it's a pretty crazy theory. But yeah, definitely more dead stuff on the way. be very soon. Oh, the file's done. Let me go ahead and start that. <clears throat> All right. Uh, probably going to have to... Let me go to documents real quick. I'm probably going to have to unzip it. Make extractor real quick. Hello. There we go. Extract all. Yeah, it's called the same thing. I don't care. Right, I'm going to extract it real quick, and then I'm going to play it. So, it's two gigs. Extract That's a pretty big game for a 2D game. I'm curious to see how it is. I'm not sure if I... Is this your... I don't think this is your first stream, Potato. I remember seeing... I think I remember seeing you before. Pretty sure. But I thought you had a different name. I remember the symbol. I'm on your, I'm on your channel now. Okay, you've got some consumed... Deleted Dad Phil's thing, and Beyond Your Acumen <laughs> from Dad. And I'm not sure if the Dad stuff's going to be canon. I'm going to have to ask Nathan about that. But that would, wouldn't that be cool if the Dad theory was actually canon this time? Um, This series, uh, how did I find it? <laughs> actually, it was from the Nightmine Index. And then I did some research into it, and I found a forum. There's only one person that was talking about it. Nobody's talked about it yet, but I really do think it's going to blow up. So I was like, well, I'll be among the first to actually look it up then. I think it deserves more attention than it has. All right, game is extracted. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Let's see, illusion game lock one. Oh, that's what's called lock one. Remember, they just unlock the lock at the end of this. So I guess this is the end of this chapter. I guess each chapter is a lock. We just saw them unlock lock one. So now we're in lock two in the official game. So there will be a second season. That's in the first season. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let me switch OBS to um, from window capture to display capture, so you all can see the game. Let me go ahead and start it. Or I could go ahead and start. Uh, it's not a virus. It's fun. All right, here we go. Part one, the tooth home. This is so weird. It's cool that it's an actual game. All right, here we go. First ever playthrough that I've seen of Illusion Lock. <laughs> oh, there's the squid. Weird. The island is where people go to escape. Interesting. It's a place that holds secrets. Deep beneath. Anyone can come and visit if they so choose. But in order to live there, one must destroy their boat. Okay. This is the story of the island's residents. The tooth home guides them, one at a time. Enjoy your meal. Excuse me? We mean enjoy your meal. I'm the island consuming them one at a time? Alright, arrow keys is movement. Space is to select. Uh, Z is to brawl. Power attack. Okay. So, just the keys, the first four keys. And then B is to run. Space is to select. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I play as her! I play as the witch. I play as a uh, brain power, force, guard, nerve, ethos. Weird. Play as a uh, Gloria. Interesting. Or Georgia. I mean, plays Georgia. It's interesting. What is that? Can I? Oh, there we go. Georgia, age forty-one. Interest. The tooth home. Marine biology. Painting. Previous roles: philosopher, scientist. Current role: island leader. Paisley and Russell. 
This is so weird to play it now after watching it. It's like jumping into an ARG after watching it. It feels strange. I just drank all the well water. That probably was not good. Hello, random. Oh, now I'm him. You switch people by touching them. Weird. The brewer. We creatures begin our lives in the ocean deep. Though some of us can swim, others rely on the tides to be swept ashore. The island is our primary roosting location. So, sea creatures. Press space to enter the creature's world. There's teeth. I we're supposed to be collecting teeth. That's like my main thing. Interesting. There's a tooth. So why do we want teeth? <laughs> I never did understand that. I mean, I guess it's for magic. Like they, I think that's what it was. They used the spells. They used teeth for spells, but it's still kind of weird. Creatures are named after the roles they fulfill. We germs, on the other hand, are nameless. Okay. What's it supposed to do here? Just to fight it? No. Okay, I don't know. I don't see anything else to do here. I guess we'll go home. Weird. Oh, not to fight it. Great. Where do I collect these? Nope, I do not collect those. I gotta dodge it. Frick. Uh, how long do I have to dodge? Okay, that thing has a health meter. I gotta get up to it or what? I don't understand. Oh, I gotta collect the symbols. Okay. Weird. I got all the symbols. Now what? Can I fight the thing now? No, I cannot. Weird. Ah! How's this thing throwing plants at me? I have not heard it yet, I don't think. I don't understand this combat system. Holy crap! Ah! I heard it that time, okay. Okay, I get this. Weird. This is an odd battle system. You gotta charge up, and then use a power move. Ah! This is gonna be a long battle. Why are we fighting it? What, what decided this thing was evil? We just came up to it and like, hey, wanna die? <laughs> just immediately started fighting it. Not all video games, though. We just randomly start attacking things. I don't understand what we're fighting it, though. Unless we're fighting it for its teeth, maybe? Is that unnecessary? Oh, it's almost dead. Also getting back health, by the way. Beat it! Woo! Got 16 teeth! Nice! So that's good. <laughs> okay. The tooth home is a living entity. Interesting. In order for it to function as a shelter, it must be sustained day by day. So we collect teeth. As you know well by now. What happens if we don't feed the tooth home? That's what today's lesson is about. Great! <laughs> Firstly, the temperature. What happens when it's cold outside? The tooth gets... The tooth home gets warmer. It's correct, Brexit. And likewise, when it's hot out, the tooth home gets cooler. Haha, <laughs> but why is that? lamp on the cabinet. It controls the lighting and heating. The tube home has psychic sensors, psychic expressors, psychic inhibitors. 
within the two tomes walls, there exists a sort of nervous system. It's different from a person's because it's not physically tangible. The bed, the, the lamplight, the cabinet are all organ manifestations. If the two tome isn't fed, it could go dormant or worse. The sleep and level up functions, they would eventually fail. They would be without a home, would be without a lot of things. The winter would arrive and it would be quite cold for us all. Would anything bad happen? If we fed the tooth home too much? That's a good question. As far as I've studied the process, there are no drawbacks in that case. It can only it can only lead to good growth for the tooth home and for us all. Don't forget to rest as well. That's all for the lesson dismissed. <laughs> Interesting. There's a monster. So we gotta beat all the monsters, I guess? There's our friends. Oh, switched up. Sealer, do you remember the tooth home as a living entity? It must be sustained. If you deposit enough teeth in the cabinet, you help to feed the tooth home and you level up. Oh, okay. It does, Sam, it does seem like an SCP, doesn't it? It really does, now that I think about it. Yeah, this game's interesting, see you, <laughs> Good to see you. Dinner time. Oh, alright, see you, Jen. Yeah, only nine minutes late, poof. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, man. Yeah, this is a really weird game. It's actually brand new. It's only like a month old. And it's got like a storyline we watched on YouTube earlier. It's like a unfiction web series thing. And it's got all kinds of ARG elements. And this game comes along with it. And hardly anybody's discovered it yet. I actually found it on the Nightmind Index, but it wasn't one that people have really found yet. So I'm really interested. I'm really uh, curious to be to find out what's going on. Be one of the first to figure it out. All right. Uh, I think we should return to the island to feed the key house first. Oops! Accidentally entered this world. Crap. Oh well. That's fine. I'm gonna collect more teeth. There's a lot of dream symbolism here. Hence the lost teeth. Germs, creatures, humans, we all take part in the ecosystem. We each do different things. Time to fight. Here we go. You all ready? Your battles get kind of crazy. Okay, they're all kind of the same. It's all grabbing symbols. And then hitting a the move. Woo, this one's a lot harder. Holy crap. Okay. Woo. All right. Power moves did not hurt this one. power in this world. I'm not sure why we fight these things, though. So I guess we're just stealing their teeth, but... <laughs> like, they didn't do anything to us at all. They brought us to their, their world, and then we just start hurting them. In their own world. We keep ourselves alive. Is, that, is this, like... Is this, like, a representation of us, like, killing animals to survive? We got 16 teeth. Cool. I'll take it. Hey Russell, what you're working on? Hey, they're still on the island. Oh, this is before. Never mind. Oh, hey Paisley, I'm just writing a poem. But I'm stuck on something. Oh, this is, remember he wrote her a poem. This is this is when that happened. What's up? This is a prequel. I'm trying to figure out a word. I need a synonym for longing. But I can't use the word longing. It has to have eight letters, not seven. Otherwise the poem wouldn't work. At least not in the way I want. How about wanting? 
No wait, that's seven letters. Oh, wait, I got it. How about yearning? Yearning. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Can I read the poem? Not until it's done. It's for you. Not quite finished yet. Maybe. I don't know. After I'm done? Of course. Whenever you're ready. Cool. Oh, not playing sound. Whew, that was a close call. She can't see this poem yet. I don't know if she she ever can. It's very... It's personal. I know you showed her because we see the future. <laughs> and, um... Oh, beat that monster. I'm gonna switch to Paisley. Hmm, should I talk to that monster? Or, let's see. How many monsters are there? One, two. There's at least two left. There's four. Three. Four. There's that poison berries, remember? That you tried to eat. Collect them. Oh, it's the cave, too. It's a cave where they got jiggy with it. The beginning. <laughs> no, way back in the cave, got jiggy with it. Like, the very back of the cave. Or how long is this cave? Okay, there we go. That's where they got jiggy with it. This is where the entity lives. The demon. Very, in very strange, but interesting game. I've enjoyed it so far. More berries. Right. There's quite a few monsters left. Uh, I'm gonna go turn in my teeth, the teeth house, and see if I can level up. So this, that one's actually pretty small. More friends. I played this the girl that died. <laughs> it's the girl that died at the beginning of the game, or the beginning of the show. Okay. Uh, how to turn in the teeth? Is this it? Press space to level up. Cost fifty teeth. Done. Okay, we leveled up. Awesome. I don't know what it did, but we apparently leveled up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be the teacher. I'll be uh, the teacher again. The one that killed everybody <laughs> in the show. This one looks interesting. Uh, helper. Berries are not the most effective way to heal, but they certainly do the job. There are bushes on the island that yield juicy red berries. You can pick up and eat them delicious. These teeth. Seaweed? Interesting. Oh, there's a temple. I've checked it out in a second. What kinds of monsters here? I feel like we're going to fight the monsters if we touch them. I don't know. Let's see. Trading post offer you teeth in exchange for help. And wheels. That's a fun fact. Oh, okay, cool. Turns maintain these worlds without us. Creatures would not be able to teleport you. Let's see what's in the temple. Welcome to Trading Post. Press the space key to trade some teeth. One kelp is worth two teeth. One wheel is worth five teeth. Press the key. Right, I've got two kelp. Let's trade them. Okay. Cool. Alright, time to fight. Let's do it. Ready. Woo! It looks like her middle moves the strongest. It's 
funny how I make the camera mess up. Like, I have Slenderman powers. <laughs> and, uh, like, they're altering the dimension. When I attack. I'm using the teeth magic, so... I'm definitely casting spells or something. And I'm catching... I've got to collect runes before I can even... attack in the first place. This game's really fun. It's weird. It's fun. Okay, got it. Got 16 more teeth. Alright. <clears throat> hey, Teresa, check this out. Is that a tooth necklace? Made from the creature's teeth? Wait, he didn't make the teeth necklace in the story. Yes, yes it is. So this is a different timeline. Remember they said there was another timeline where the other girl was from? Where she went caught by the police? Braxton, no pocketing. Or just says we can't pocket teeth. They're a valuable resource. Or did he just lie to her? Relax, I'm not pocketing, I'm necklacing. <laughs> listen here, smarty. George is the leader. It's our duty to listen to her. Rules and all. It's what we do. So when she says no pocketing, don't go searching for new goals. Just a few can canines, nothing dire. I doubt Georgia would even give a hoot. Deposit it! <laughs> no, this is fun. <laughs> okay. What are you gonna do? Confiscate my necklace? I certainly could. Hmm, maybe I should. Then you'll have it, haha, <laughs> which means you'll be pocketing! Psst. I'll deposit immediately, then no one gets in trouble. Well, if you want my necklace, you're gonna have to catch me. Do I have to race as her? her? Alright, gotta chase him. I have better things to do. Do I? No. He wants to play around, so be it. It's just a few canines. If I switch to her, do I have to chase? Because I feel like I might have to. Uh, let's see, where is she? There she is. I switch to her. Let's see if I have to chase him. Let's go ahead and do this guy. Alright, Forger. It takes a few days, more or less, for a creature's teeth to regrow entirely when lost. Eventually, our maws are restored. So return to the island and roost once more. Place. Just got to say, brawn is physical strength. It determines how hard you can hit when you use muscle. Reminds me of uh, Undertale, I think it's what it does on Undertale. Is it? Uh, the one where you fall in the hole. You know, that bunny mom thing. I never actually played it, I've just seen gameplay. It reminds me of this a little bit. It has sands and all that. What game is that? Is that Undertale? I like it's Undertale. And Delta Runes, like the reverse one or something. Yeah, it's Undertale. Battle Star reminds me of that a little bit. Got any fives? Remember they're playing cards for the teeth earlier. <laughs> Go fish, pal. <laughs> any nines on you? Yep, there you go. Okay, I win. Good game, buddy. GG. 
I'm curious about your faith. Okay, that's random. Don't you believe in Yodas? Why would you randomly say I'm curious about your faith? Yodas doesn't interest me. Call me a skeptic, I guess. So you don't pray. Why should I? I can help myself just fine. It doesn't have to be about help. Prayers can be about anything. When our creator was taken over, Yodos was there to fix everything. As a divine being, they don't just help you. They save you, revise you, they help you grow. Well, I don't see any proof of that, but hey, maybe you're right. Whether or not I believe, it doesn't really change my ways. There's proof in ancient texts. Ever since I was young, I believed. Before I even came to the island. Anyway, I gotta go. I have things in my mind. By things, you mean Paisley, right? Huh? What? Hey, don't tease me. <laughs> Fun game. I'll catch you around. Interesting. Dinner time. Alright, see ya, Jen. Oh, alright, never mind. I saw it a minute ago, didn't I? Did that just refresh itself? Weird. Yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, it's under tough. It's not thoughts about that. Oh, Jaden Man 98 Thank you for the uh, dollar in Canadian. Appreciate that. Really, thank you. Really means a lot to me. Appreciate that. We get some hype in chat for Jaden Man. <laughs> All right, the Keeper. More often than not, we create we creatures love to brawl. It's all sorts. That's why we have to fight them. They love, actually like to fight. It's all exercise for the body and spirit. It's fun. However, some creatures prefer the peaceful way. Hmm. Which ones prefer the peaceful way? You? Why would you tell me that otherwise? We got enough teeth to upgrade again, I think. There's another house. We germs have, uh, have things to say. If you listen, you might learn more about the world. Creatures feed on kelp. It is their primal source of food. Without kelp, they would die. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna turn in some kelp then. Great. How do I unlock it? Oh, here we go. She's a Z hitter again. Okay, it's so hard to find. I made the incorrect sound that time. So, you have to match it up or something? It worked that time, I don't know. I think I'm playing a game Rock, Paper, Scissors in the background, I didn't even notice this whole time. Boom. Oh, that was easy. It's getting easier. I think it's because we leveled up. For today's lesson, we'll be discussing... What's that out there? Look in the distance. I don't know, what is it? Oh, it's a guy! It was with, uh, I am Crosmire, yeah. The one that was with Suzanne. <clears throat> I have no choice. I only follow my source. That home of yours. That darn tooth of yours. I have been instructed to destroy it completely. I'm building a weapon. Okay. By next rainfall, I will shoot. Who do you serve? <laughs> yeah, right? I cannot reveal the name, but I shall alert you. Evacuate the island immediately, if you wish to stay alive. Holy frick. But it's our home. We can't let you kill it. Yeah, what the frick are you... Why, why do you want to kill the home? <laughs> when it rains, I'll take aim. I'll not hesitate. 
I'll not hold back. Remember, it's because uh, Georgia is trying to use the tooth to take over and defeat their devil and become the new god or whatever. Georgia, what shall we do? Um, I don't know, because she's kind of messed up. I'll come up with a defense plan. I just need time to think carefully. Perhaps an attack plan would be more effective. Maybe? We don't have enough info yet. Crosmire is a mysterious to us. But look at the clouds. They're slowly graying. I'd say, in an estimation, it'll rain a week from today. Should we train? No, should we? Absolutely. Okay. Use the cabin as much as possible. Level ups are priority now. Keep collecting teeth. We need as many as we can get. Hmm. I'm gonna deposit my teeth. Everybody wants that freaking tooth house gone. All the enemies, all the good guys, everybody wants them gone. It's just too powerful of a house, I tell you. <laughs> Sounds kind of freaky. Alright, deposit my teeth. Press any arrow key. Let's see. Yeah, we need one more to level it up again. Shoot. One short. That sucks. Ooh, yeah, I need to switch characters. She was hurt. Use the same move over and over again in fight, the probability of missing increases until you use a new move. For the sake of accuracy, try switching it up. What? Again, fight. Probability of missing increases. Ah. So try switching it up during fights. Okay. I don't think it was missing before. I think it's something new. It's unfortunate. I haven't seen any wills yet. I've got some kelp. They said that wills give you even more than kelp. As far as uh, teeth exchange, but I haven't seen any. Power is cerebral strength. It determines the effectiveness of an attack from the mind. Creatures and germs are not the same. Creatures take you to the levels we live inside. Give it a shot. So let's try, yeah. Let's try P and C with her. Go back and forth with them. the whole game. When I went into the ARG, I thought it was like a uh, like one of those fake online games that you can't really play. Like they just talk about it. Like um, what's that game? Um, like Pets Petscop? But no, it's an actual game. Didn't expect that. Delve, uh, delve deep, mind. Breath in, hold, release. Just turning your mind, I guess. Angerless, calm. Meditation. Yeah, I don't either. When you're using it that way. But here I am, doing it often in hopes that one day it'll work. Meditation, real meditation is awesome. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. It kind of centers yourself, calms you down, but I don't know what you're doing exactly with it. I'm told I need to forgive myself, but I just can't. When, when, when applying it to, like, combat, mental combat, I'm not sure how calming your mind would increase your combat skills, but... 
interesting concept. Uh, I need to turn on my teeth real quick. <coughs> or it gets too late. Uh, where's without service? See any difference though? Like I don't see us getting any stronger from using the teeth though. They just say we do. I mean, everything pretty much looks the same. That's a cool one. This one's called a lender. While you humans each have weakness and resistance, we creatures do not. We uh, we shoot at you with projectiles and you dodge. Collect sparks to gain an attack turn. Okay. Kill. Okay, so that's what the symbols down at the bottom are. If you get three in a row, you miss. So you've got to switch it up. Taking root is where a, when a human changes form, sacrifices the ability to move and speak. Remember, they took root at the end of the story. Uh, my character right now, uh, it was, uh, I forgot the name, crap, <laughs> Russell, Russell and, uh, Pais Paisley. The war of tree turning was won by the humans, but as a result, we were all cursed. Okay, that's some lore right there. That's a lore nugget. The war of tree turning was won by humans, but as a result, we were all cursed, or you all cursed. That's why we turned a tree at the end? Are we cursed to eventually turn to trees when we fall in love or something? One by the humans, but as a result, you're all cursed. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that for a dive. Little bits. Humans are capable of dying, but you also have the choice to take root, you see. Become a tree. Because we won the war against the trees. Interesting. are going to be Z and X. Crap, I'm looking down at my keys. I'm not used to using a keyboard to fight. Okay. Can't charge your attacks. Okay. Bosses are definitely getting harder. Two I don't like. See at the bottom it shows my dislikes, and that's what's coming at me. Apples and clams. So using like my dislikes against me? What happened to your necklace? I don't know. Georgia made me deposit it. Oh, okay. Dang. Oh well, whatever. But he didn't even do it in the story. I can ask for some advice. Guarantee a response, but sure, Russell, ask away. I have a small, uh, love problem. <laughs> There's someone on this island who's becoming special to me. I'm not sure how to bring it up because I'm nervous and shy. Well, I'm not a wise guy of the feels, but I think honestly, honesty is the way to go. I'd say to get off your chest, let Paisley know as soon as you can. Thanks a lot, Braxton. Wait, how did you know? Small island. Who just gets around? <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> you probably did. Just your actions. Pace, we got a keen eye for feels. Let's figure it out on our own. She didn't give an answer yet, but she's thinking about it. Probably waiting for you to ask. 
Am I really that transparent? <laughs> I guess I gotta prepare myself. You, yeah, you are. <laughs> Yeah, I still got plenty of health. I'm gonna go ahead and do another one with him. Then I'll deposit my teeth. Washer, did you know that clean water has healing traits? That's why hydration is so integral. Huh. If you take too much damage, drink from the well to replenish your health completely. Cool. I've got so many pieces of kelp to turn in. Guard is physical defense. It determines how well you can protect your body from blows. Nervous cerebral defense. Um, it determines how well you can resist mental strikes and hits. That's a little low. Whoa, my power's up at 11 now. Definitely level up. Dang, that was a big hit. Crap. He's dead. I'll get my big one again. If it doesn't miss, I'm gonna risk it. Alright, awesome. 16 teeth. Do you know any methods that you can help me remember? Remember what specifically? <clears throat> oh, great curse already. My entire past, personal history, everything before I came here. Oh, sorry. Can't help you there. Besides, your past isn't important. What matters is here and now. I want to remember. It worries me that I can't. There's plenty to worry about. Lots of things. But not your past. In order to move on, you let go. You detach from the old stuff. That's what I do, at least. And how do you recall info? Factual memory is different. It's better than the person. Why focus on your own history when you can learn something? Like climbing a tree or eating a centipede? Eating a centipede? Really? <laughs> That's what memory is really for. Not for finding out who you... Okay. That's why you create. With your life, your choices. Like eating centipedes? <laughs> yeah, right? That's that sits on my mind, too. <laughs> what the heck? Why do you care? Because it's freaking weird, dude. It's creepy. No reason. Don't ask, buddy. <laughs> okay. That was weird. <laughs> uh, I need to turn on my teeth. So we're almost out of monsters. I think we've almost beat the game. I mean, it was like almost two gigs, so it could have more to it, but I kind of feel like it's getting close to the end. Inside the tooth home lets you sleep. This is important if you want to save progress for next time. Ah, gotcha. Go to delete save data if you want a clean slate. Okay. I'll remember that. I need to go save after this then. Oh, Paisley, let's do this. 
Oh, good, great. I can turn on a seaweed. I got a freaking tongue. Should give me enough teeth to level up again. So this game was made on the Eleanor engine. Y'all ever heard of the Eleanor engine? Because I have not. Welcome to Trading Post. Press the space key to trade for teeth. Okay. Deal. That's a good one. It was actually worth more than the last one. Oh, more seaweed. Just keep spawning. <laughs> Is it supposed to be like that? I kind of feel like I found an infinite teeth farm. Nah, that's a. I just had some extras. Okay. Oh, there it is. What the frick? That's seriously just found an infinite teeth farm. Oh, now there's a wheel. Awesome. Yeah, I found an inf I think there's a glitch right here. And I'm going to uh, exploit it. Gosh, we did. We found a freaking glitch. For infinite teeth. I think. Let me see if it did anymore. Oh my gosh, it's infinite. <laughs> Let's get it to 100 and then we'll leave. Nah, I think that's it. Exploit used up. That's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, we got the 80 teeth. After the boss battle, we should, uh, we'll almost have enough to do it twice. Right. Everything on her is one. She's really freaking weak. Basically, why are you so weak? This is real weak. It'll take forever to win with her. Bugs and eyes, which are really hard to dodge. No, I hurt you too. I thought maybe ice would not hurt you because it shows a smiley face beside it. I was very wrong. There's that other timeline that Lady helped us out from. So I'm thinking that we saw the other timeline in the show. And that the game's its own timeline. Because in this timeline, and she said in her timeline that, uh, that Gloria was a good person instead of the witch that cursed everybody. So I'm thinking on that timeline. I 
may have to do finish this game out in another stream. Yeah, it's game over. <sighs> Note to self, do not pick Paisley. Ever. <laughs> it was fun, though. Interesting. A lot of lore in this game. This game definitely... This game and story definitely deserves a dive. There's a lot of lore there. Like, the war between the trees and the humans. The reason humans are now cursed to become trees. The fact that Paisley and Russell became trees. Key to wake up. Good game save, it says. Okay, do I still have my save progress? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, it didn't lose the game's progress. Well, I'm not going to be Paisley anymore, but let's see if we only still have the three monsters that were left. Yeah, she's awesome. I'm going to be her. Yeah, same damage and everything. Let's see how many monsters were there left, actually. There's one. If there's only like one or two, I'll go ahead and do them. One. <clears throat> two. That's the one I lost to. Three. Four. Four. I'll go ahead and finish. I'll go ahead and finish this. That'd be fun. I'm really curious about the story, so I'll go ahead and do the last one. I should have enough health. Just do at least one of them. Just never pick Paisley ever again. Paisley sucks. Alright, Ranger. Oh, Ranger. If a creature is bested in combat, they must give their teeth to the winner. After battle, they return to the water depths. Creatures live by the code of transaction. are tree-like. If you're lucky, maybe you'll grow pine cones. Just kidding. That's why everybody has green hair! Everybody has green hair because they were cursed by the trees to become trees. That's why we have wooden skin! We have wooden skin and green hair because we're becoming trees because we got cursed. It's all starting to make sense now. Yep. See, look. Look at our skin. It's wooden. Wooden skin. Leaf hair. Like a Pokemon. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, she's pretty beefy. Just keep her dying. are the freakiest things. I freaking hate centipedes. Hi, Russell. It's fine. <laughs> Don't get rid of the poem. Maybe you could save it. Rewrite it later in life. Go find someone. Does that mean all the trees here are people? I know you can. I believe in you. Intense love for just one person. It sounds desirable sometimes. But the island isn't really a place for that kind of connection. Love works differently here. What does that mean? The outside world is a cruel zone. Love there is intense and painful. Here on the island, we reject that because the island is a safe zone. Love here is communal, stable, and protects us from heartbreak. I hope you can understand. Trying to. Good, I'm good. 
Maybe we won't have to, we won't be here forever. Thank you for being up front. Hmm. Interesting. I hate that I ate all the food at the beginning. Wasted every single one. <laughs> Last three monsters. Let me switch characters again, though. I'm learning a lot about these people. Well, oh, they all have green hair and stuff. We don't know that now. I hope we figured that out. Yeah, he was pretty tough to be him again. He wasn't the best, though. Who was. Wasn't she really strong? Yeah, she's about dead, though. Yeah, I'm gonna be hurt. Three monsters. We go toward the bottom. I'm gonna check and see if they moved, but I don't think they did. Let's try him. I think he was pretty good. She's almost dead. Be him. The song's even more haunting now, knowing they fought against trees, because it makes me think of, like, tree people for some reason. It's like the echoes of the tree people. Seaweed? Yeah, we've already cleared this level, we just didn't beat the boss. So it's definitely not adding in more levels. We'll be done when we're done. Definitely take 12 over 1 any day. That was freaking awful. It ain't worth it. Paisley's just garbage. Write that one down for the notes. Paisley is garbage sauce. Paisley should have remained an NPC. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia, I remember something. Is it about Kurzmeier? No, unfortunately, but I remember falling. Interesting. There was a door I opened. I fell out of the sky. Interesting, right? So I'm thinking. So were we cast here? I was under the impression you came here by boat. Yeah, right? That's what they said. They destroyed the boat. The boat you then destroyed like the rest of us. Fell from the sky, that changes my story. You know. Tell me more if you can. I hit the ground loudly, and then. That's all I can remember. Sorry, that's all there is. Okay, well, that tells us quite a lot. It seems you lost your memory. Okay, so I'm thinking when you when you hit the ground, it's pro probably when it happened. I think you get a part of the story for completing different parts of different people. Might have to play the game again. Post injury amnesia. Might be the game. With one person all the way through. Wait, there's more than that. I was put under some sort of spell. I remember an incantation. Someone spoke before my fall. Words of an unknown sort, unfamiliar and strange. This could all be very important. Thank you for telling me. When it becomes clear, you can tell me more. Yeah, I think I have to beat the game with all the characters to get the full story. No, wait a minute. No, I was him, that's right. It's it's going in order. Alright, should be this one and then one more creature and we're done. Kill. Kill. Teeth. Beautiful. Glorious. Wonderful teeth. 
Ethos is abstract defense. It determines the fortitude of your emotional well-being. My ethos is jacked in real life. <laughs> We germs try to understand the world as best we can, but we sometimes make mistakes. Interesting. I think there's something in the cave. It waits. But what do I know? I'm just a little germ. What does it want? Well, that's an ominous hint. Let's go check the caves. Right, there is no seaweed house here. Time for battle. Creatures are coming out of the ocean, like evolving onto land, and then humans became part tree for some reason. <coughs> How's everyone trained? We we're training, surely. Practicing my kicks. <laughs> Fantastic, Braxton. I've also been doing kicks. <laughs> With your salt leg. How's that been going? Wait, his leg is made out of salt? Weird. That's effective as an ice skate, but against the demon, perfect. That one has no demons. Wait, I can use my salt leg to fight demons. That's interesting. I'm glad you both trained. Clouds of gear grade. Yeah. As I said, they come back. They'll be striking very soon. What is crushing right now? Yep, but that, that demon in the cave, I bet I gotta use my salt leg to beat it. Maybe they're a demon. <laughs> oh, so. It's kind of wizard. Did you listen to me? I said there are no demons here. Yeah, there is some on the cave. In some ways, demons are similar to creatures. The demons are far scarier and far more powerful. Crossmire's no demon, but more likely a spirit. A hidden familiar specifically. I don't know what that is, but that was that girl's familiar, remember? It was, um. Sarah Lee's spirit. It's a spirit that hides in the mind, the mind being the source. When the source activates, the familiar manifests. It's a reflection of the source's deepest hidden desires. So if Crossmire's a familiar, there's someone else out there. Yeah. Someone who knows about the Tooth Home. And they want it dead. <clears throat> yep. That sums it up. Alright, let's do that last one. Actually, I need to turn on my teeth first, and then we'll do the last one. Then I'll probably have to change characters, because Braxton's getting a little bit low on health. I should probably go check out the cave first. With it. See if I can kill that demon. Ooh, yeah. Millipedes are so much worse. Actually, no, never mind. Millipedes aren't that bad. Millipedes are the ones that are just like a giant, a really long, really pulley. I'm actually completely okay with millipedes. Millipedes are like the most chill thing. And centipedes are freaking demon bugs, especially the giant ones, the giant armored, whatever the heck they are, freakiest living beings in the universes. I freaking hate them. My ex hated them too. She was terrified of centipedes. And they were always in her basement. It's like, you know what centipedes make me think of? Long spiders. They're like long spiders. I mean, they even have the fangs and everything. Could you imagine centipedes with frickin' wings? 
a centipede flying towards you with its fangs bare. It's messed up. <laughs> Don't want to think about it. Humans weren't always like trees. Long ago, a great turning occurred at the hands of a bygone king and an old divine entity. There no longer exists human unturned. <laughs> Get bored. This place sounds different. This place looks like a hellscape a little bit. So you can collect a wheel. Creatures like wheels because they enjoy spinning. I need to turn on my seaweeds. Got a bunch of seaweeds. Kind of nervous about this boss coming up. Because, uh, you know, we defeated the main part of the story, so it means the boss is coming. Horse's abstract strength. It determines the damage dealt by moves using soul energy. Alright, I think that's it. Alright, let's do it. Should be the last one. I just died. Dang it. No! Oops. I did not mean to exit the game. Crap. It's a good thing I saved a minute ago. <laughs> Darn it. Yes. Flying centipedes. Gotta happen. Alright, cool. I'm still alive. Uh, let's see, how many... How many creatures behind him right now, though? I should have escaped. I hit the wrong key. I was trying to skip. Accidentally just flushed everything over. Yeah, I'll be him again. He's alright. Where are the enemies? I wonder if the weapon is what turned Glinda evil, or whatever her name is. Georgia. I wonder if it's what turned Georgia evil. Because she seems fine right now. I guarantee all these were people at one time. It's messed up. All these trees. Okay, so where's the last monster? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's safe with him. Alright, well, let's do the last monster and see what happens. <coughs> Collect some hell teeth again. Day, bust them. Right, I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, am I playing, sir? No. Hello. Ooh. Oh, there's the girl. There's the. There's her lover. Fading into our dimension for a second. Okay. So now what? Please tell me the well has refilled, because it's raining, and it should have refilled it. <laughs> Logically. <laughs> Come on. I ate all the berries at the beginning. Oh, it is back. Awesome. Good. Oh, there is the enemy. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I do not have enough teeth to upgrade. Let's just do it. Oh, crap. Boss time. Here we go. Final boss. Why do I only have three damage? They made me way weaker. So take the freaking ever. Oh my 
gosh, they have a lot of stuff coming at me, dude. Holy frick, the last boss is ridiculous. Okay. Did baby damage. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Holy! Crap. Okay, okay, okay. Stay calm. I'm freaking out. Stay calm down. There's too many freaking projectiles. Holy crap. So why is the witch's girlfriend attacking us? Ah, uh, that's why she's upset. She found out it was her familiar, her girlfriend's familiar. Gotcha. Well, it makes a little more sense with the story now, but dang, I just got killed. Frick. <laughs> that is not gonna be easy. Not at all. Dang. Holy crap. Well. Why? Poof poof. Why do you want flying centipedes with bee stingers and bat wings? Please explain this level of evil. Save real quick. Hmm. I wonder if I should just continue tomorrow. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, I can heal. Okay. I'm gonna heal. Glenn, or, uh, her up and see if we can do it. Everything's only one with her, apparently. It's even weaker. And there's more projectiles. Yeah, this is gonna not work. <laughs> Maybe I should be weak anus, basically. Maybe she can actually do something. She's freaking weak sauce. But she might be good against this guy. Who knows? Janky Paisley. Alright. That's, that's freaking possible. Good freaking grief. Expect you to be like instantly expert level. Can I do more missions? I don't think I can. I think I'm just. It's as much as you can level up. What the frick? I need to do some more missions. I'm not ready. <clears throat> I guess we could try to jank. Janky we uh, weakling Paisley. But she's almost dead. <laughs> What about Braxton? I feel like Braxton's really strong. Where is Braxton? Where is Braxton? Braxton, please report back to the island. You are needed immediately. Braxton, to the island. Braxton. Aging Braxton. Is he in the cave? No. What the frick? Who the heck is Braxton? Braxton! 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 I need a meme. It's just this Braxton in all caps. <laughs> Braxton! Frickin' Braxton! Oh my gosh. Can I go up to the painting and switch that way? Because Braxton's freaking lost. Unless he's down here. I don't think he. Oh, there you are. There you are, Braxton. Braxton, me boy. Shout with your salt leg. That's what that salt leg can do, man. Nothing. He's still weak sauce. Great. Frick. After this, I'm gonna try Paisley. Maybe she can actually do something. Frick. Frick, there's too many. Yeah. 
Alright, let's try a weak sauce paisley, see if it doesn't make any difference. Might. Can I switch here? No, I gotta go find her. Let's go try a weak, weakling paisley, see if she can actually do something. Come on, paisley. Drink a 12 gallons of water and go fight the demon. Nope, oh, she's just as useless as ever. Resistance though, this ain't really hurting him much. He's taking a lot of damage. I need to beef up cases when we do. Like that's my problem. I didn't really beef up anybody. I just kind of like spread the energy <laughs> evenly. Hmm. Oh well, that was still fun. I think that's all we can do for tonight. Easily 24. Hmm. I'll come back to this either tomorrow or sometime soon, and we'll explore the rest of this, but I've got all the lore bits in my head, and a writ, a writ? I wrote some of them down, and I took a screenshot, so that's all for tonight. Well, I had a lot of fun looking into the series. The actual series itself was really interesting, really deep, emotional. And um, the game's pretty interesting as well. A lot of lot of lore bits, a lot of prequel lore bits stuff to the actual story itself. But I do need to go ahead and finish this game out, and then I probably need to beat it again to see if you beat it with different characters if it makes any difference. But anyway, thank you all for joining me tonight. I really did have a good time. I'm glad I got to stream one more time. I don't know if I get to or not because I ended up not starting till late, and uh, you know, been a crazy week. But but I've, I've had a good week too. So um, thank you again. Who was it? Was um, Jaden Man. Thank you again, Jaden Man, for the dono. I really appreciate your donation. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, it's not just supporting me, it's supporting the channel, it's supporting me to be able to put more creativity into it, and again, all the donations, everything like that goes back into the channel, into props and things like that. So, if we go on trips, it pays for the, uh, things like that as well, and if we need equipment, like the microphone, we paid for that. So, thank you all again for that. I really do appreciate all you do for me, and uh, had a good time tonight. Yeah, this, this game was... Uh, it was definitely something very interesting. I, I enjoyed it. It was really weird, but I enjoyed it. And I'm glad I'm one of the first people to actually look into it. Uh, I think it definitely deserves a proper dive, because it was so much hidden lore there. Uh, I might try to do it next week. I don't know. I've got a few things I'm going to be doing next week, but I'm, I'm going to at least start on it this weekend. So, Did not expect them to be tree people. I thought their hair was just green. Just like a stylistic choice. But no, they're tree people. Some king put a curse on everybody. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. I had a good night, as always. And uh, next time I stream, we will be doing another gaming stream. Another, uh, it won't just be a Jackbox party. It'll be a Jackbox party and Among Us. We'll play Among Us, and we'll do Jackbox next time. So I will see you all then. Uh, next week, I will be finishing up the back rooms, and I will also be uh, releasing an interview with Summer... I can't remember the last... It's like Hana, I think, say pronounce the last name. But uh, I'm really bad with names, especially when it comes to last name pronunciations. But um, we'll be talking about her books. And then I also have an interview that I uh, had with Repzilla, which will come out after that. And I have an interview with Floxcat, which will come out after that. So, And there's some other videos, too. That's just, that's just the things in the immediate timeline. Um, also, uh, there's another teaser for High Five Friends, and that will be coming out... Hopefully this weekend. If not this weekend, it will be coming out next week. So a lot of things on the way. A lot of live dives also coming up. Uh, I've got a list of that I'll be going. I've got my little sticky note list from last time. <laughs> so we'll go over that as well. But, um, yep. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Good to see you, Katie, Samantha, uh, Poof Poof. And uh, Jade Man, if you're still here, Sam. Jen Leia. Oh, Jen Leia already left. And Potato, if you're still here. Had a great time, and I will see you all next time. And as always, oh, let me get this down first. <laughs> And as always, keep your eyes wide open and never stop reading. <laughs> I'll see you all next time.